Alright, I just want to give a quick demo of a control system I'm putting together for this game. Um, just let me adjust the mic here. Um, so you can see if I... Automatic defense procedures initiated. I've got different buttons on the control panel that you can look at. Right now they're just playing audio, uh, but eventually the they'll perform some functions. Um, get moving here. So the idea is you use... Uh, gamepad like Xbox 360 or something like that to navigate around your pan tilt and uh, yaw, roll, whatever. And um, while you're doing that, you can also look down and perform a, Automatic perform other actions. Like maybe, uh, you're navigating around, you need to raise shields and do a short range scan and, you know, arm weapons or whatever these buttons are doing. The automatic pilot uh, system is not or, functional. you know, maybe need to... Uh, to hail um, and stuff like that. So I think that'll be a pretty cool way to control this considering Star Trek's all touch and in VR I can't really touch it well right now so I think looking and oh I forgot to say like I'm, I'm not just staring at it, I'm looking and I'm pushing jump. The automatic pilot system That's is what it's not bound functional. To. Um, so I want to do some animations where I uh, the guy's hands I want everything that I do to actually be represented by his, his hand movement. So when I'm using the joystick to move around, the D-pad in the middle here, I want his left hand actually pushing different parts of it that correspond to what I'm doing. And uh, same with the, the, the buttons. Uh, while I'm doing that, you know, if I hit this button or if I hit this button, I want to see his right hand go over and actually push it. So you can... Um yeah, there we go. Um, so the idea being you can queue up sequences uh, quickly, like maybe you're being attacked and you're flying around, and you know you got to raise shields and arm weapons and send out a distress signal and do something like that. Um, yeah, that's the general idea of it.